Hi Al, who let you in? <laughs> Hi, so we have woken up in London. Um, I usually set my alarm for about 7.30 to 8. I'm not a morning person. So um, I hit the snooze button a couple of times and then get a really strong cup of coffee. First thing I try to do when I wake up is smile. Just because um, every single time that we smile anyway, it releases endorphins and it tricks your brain into thinking that you're happy even when you're maybe not. I think my relationship with my smile has been an evolution. I haven't always smiled as much as I do these days. When I smile now, I really smile with conviction and I think that it's one of the things that I like most about myself. So one thing that I definitely cannot sleep without is lavender. I drench my pillows in lavender essential oil, but I also use this amazing sleep spray um, from Sanctuary. And it just really just calms you and sends you into a nice blissful slumber. So I've got a lunch and a red carpet later, so I need to go and slay this face. But first I need to go and have a shower and you're not invited. So I just had a shower and welcome to my vanity table slash boudoir. I like to give myself about an hour to get ready. I like to take my time. I'm a big skincare freak and I've been on a real journey with this because when I was a teenager, I had really bad acne. So I think that really just put me on my way to being interested into how my skin works. And these are some of my favorite products. I love facial mists. They just balance my skin in a really light, refreshing way. So I tend to just spritz until I feel fresh, which I guess is about six pumps. Um, this one is Dragon's Blood, and I don't know what Dragon's Blood is, but I know that it's calming, balancing, and also has magical properties if we're into witchcraft. I love this serum. I just put one, two, three, four drops. Rub it into your hands and just press it on. And I just find that it gives you that no makeup, makeup glow that I really, really struggle with because I love to beat my face. So I would imagine just like most of you lot, my beauty journey has been an evolution that has taken time and patience, but I have finally found a lot of products that really work well with me and my skin, my lifestyle. I love Fenty Beauty, shout out to Rihanna. I love what she's just done with the brand. I think in terms of, you know, the diversity of shades, the diversity of products, just thinking about the needs of different women uh, is something that's really needed within the beauty industry right now. So I'm just gonna get all of my stuff out. Generally with my makeup, I have two go-tos. During the day, I like to try and keep it quite dewy. But at night times I like to go all out and tonight I'm going to a red carpet so I'm going to serve some glamour and I like to start with the eyes. We love a naked palette, Urban Decay, can't go wrong with it. Emphasise my features and don't cover them up. When I first started doing my face and exploring um, wearing makeup I liked the transformative quality of that but in the beginning, I didn't know what to emphasize. I didn't really see myself how I see myself now. And now I like to bring out my features rather than, you know, try to be somebody else. I have used a lighter color on the inside of my eyes and a darker color just to contour around the outside and bring a little bit more shape. But yeah, so we're now gonna blend this out. So now it's time for eyeliner. It's the little flick. Get a little feline kick. Straight into mascara. Try not to ruin it all. <laughs> So my eyes are done. I'll stick on the lashes after I've done my skin. 
So now I'm gonna do some foundation. So I've got a few different beauty inspo goddesses that I like to draw inspiration from. Obviously Naomi Campbell, growing up with Naomi in terms of how she does her face and how she contours, how she just exudes confidence without seemingly trying is total goals for me. So we've contoured, we've got the lashes on, we've highlighted, and now I'm just gonna finish up by doing my lips. So I just used this lip pencil from MAC called Saw, and then I am just going to use Diamond Bomb by Fenty. Done. So my makeup is done, I'm feeling good, and all I need to do now is have some breakfast. I can never go without breakfast. I go for scrambled eggs, on some granary bread, a little bit of pepper as well. Usually around this time, I probably got about three to four emails from my management. So mornings are usually pretty busy because it's the only time that I feel I've actually got to get things done before I'm doing other things so I try to get all of like my little like correspondence bits done before I start my day so my makeup's done I'm just gonna finish up breakfast and then get some curls going in this hair and then get changed into my outfit for lunch so my hair is laid and makeup is done so it's time to get ready and I got this gorgeous dress from Ghost, love red, and I love a floor length situation. I think it gives you that kind of statement glamour that translates daytime to nighttime. I'm gonna team it with this gorgeous vintage belt. Love a red and gold moment. And then this clutch from Jimmy Choo, little purse with a little bit of snake embellishment. Gorgy gorge, and then some cute little pieces from Pandora with crown motifs because you know I'm a queen. But you gotta get out of here so I can get ready. One last final touch before I leave the house. I'm obsessed with fragrance, and here are two of my favorites which match my outfit coincidentally. But I love this scent by Chanel Coco Noir. I like to wear it on my neck, and then wear Gucci's Bloom on my wrists and chest and I'm good to go. So thank you for getting ready with me Elle, that is me done. The look is complete, the drama is served and I'm good to go.